Yo, 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 leg day is the best day. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Welcome back to another YouTube video, and in today's video, we are doing a step by step mic'd up on how to grow the legs. More specifically, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and a little sizzle of the calves. Sometimes it can be really overcomplicated for no freaking reason. So I wanna do a step-by-step, -step, just look how I did a step-by-step -step for the chest day. We're gonna do a step-by-step -step mic'd up for the leg day. It's gonna be my leg routine specifically. Of course, there's a million ways, quite literally, to hit legs, but this is what I found the most beneficial to really add that size and girth pause to the legs so I'm very very excited to get that started with y'all boys let's go let's go but you do know my before the workouts I like me a coffee a coffee is quite tasty a coffee cappuccinos mate all right I'm telling you I'm getting better I'm getting better and better every day with the accent I'm not playing you know what I'm saying on a serious note, let's get this leg day rocking and rolling. We're gonna start it out by getting a coffee. Now, before I drink my coffee, I highly suggest, if you are just a, a coffee person, I highly suggest drinking a ton of water before drinking your coffee, because your boy Fidel had to learn the bubbly guts come quite easier when you're just raw dogging the coffee. And what I mean by raw dogging is, that's the first thing you drink. The best thing you want to do uh, for your digestive system, or your digestive tract, is when you get up in the AM, I highly, highly suggest drinking like, I'd say around a water bottle to two water bottles before consuming anything. That really turns on the digestive tract and it'll thank you. Versus just raw dogging some coffee, bro. Ooh, you're asking for it. The bubbly goats. So it's kind of funny how my growing leg, growing the leg muscles started for me. Um, so if I'm gonna be completely blunt and honest, whenever I started bodybuilding and whatnot, I, your boy skipped the leg day. Your boy skipped leg day a lot. Um, and not because, you know, I was afraid of it or anything, you know what I'm saying? But just because like, I really just wanted some big shoulders, I wanted big arms and big biceps. So as my upper body started growing and whatnot, I was like, dude, I was like, we look good up top, but down low, we, we chickening. And what I mean by chicken legs is, you know, skinny legs. And it's no judgment, no, you know, it's fine. If you, if that's the way you like things, that's fine. But for me specifically, obviously my goal was to be extremely proportionate in the body, right? So I was like, let's do a leg day just so I can get some, you know, some, get them pumped up and stuff. Cause again, the upper body was growing, but the, um, the legs were looking mad skinny my mad skinny things, you know? However, so whenever I started doing the leg day, I started learning a bunch of facts about legs. So one very interesting fact, and you can fact check me on this is, uh, whenever you're, you know, whenever you're doing leg day, more testosterone is released into the body, which does what? Which overall helps your entire body. So that's mad, mad interesting, yo. Whenever I started doing leg days consistently, I'm not joking with you, my upper body started growing as well at a much faster rate than it was growing when I was just doing upper body alone. That's one big thing or one huge tip for everybody that's like, you wanna see if you can grow your upper body even more, which you always can. Uh, I highly suggest doing leg day once a week. And I'm, when I say do it, bro, I mean do it with effort and do it hard. I'm telling you, your body will release more testosterone, scientifically proved, which entails, helps the entire body grow. It's, it's, it's nuts, but it's freaking awesome. It's literally amazing. So once I started doing that, the legs started growing, and then I started getting obsessed with the leg day. So I was doing them like, uh, you know, roughly like twice a week, but I'm talking hard, like, like exercise, push to the limit, you know, shaky, shaky, eggs and bakey kind of leg days. So that was absolutely awesome. And so the legs got where they needed to be, but they kind of got a little bit bigger than the upper body. You know what I mean? So then it's time to grow the upper body. 
But right now on my schedule, on my workout routine right now, it's I do one leg day per week and we do we make that leg day count, you know what I'm saying? So I have one leg day per week, but then I have four to five upper body days per week, which I think for me is a great way to proportionally grow the body and push my muscles to their absolute limit and newer limits. I mean, you just fall in love with it, you know what I mean? Like. I just, I don't know, it's just like, in order for you to fall in love with it, you gotta do it consistently. And so once I threw the leg day in there, it was money, baby. Money, 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 honey. Uh, but now let's go get our coffee. Cool, oh, I love coffee, mate. Coffee's tasty, and it makes me feel jumpy. Jumpy in the monkey. Package secured, we got the coffee, mate. So we went with a dark Vienna roast, and this time a caramel cappuccino, just half, half. And I like to throw ice in it. Uh, that's how I drink it so fast before the gym, because bro, these things be boiling. And so before the gym, I just throw ice in it, so it's not completely like an iced coffee. However though, it is a lot cooler than freaking boiling, so I can drink it fairly fast. I'm gonna take out my gum, taste test. 10 out of 10, alhamdulillah. With the coffee boy, like I said, perfect energy for your workout, alhamdulillah. And it just feels good. It doesn't feel like it's too much caffeine. You go in there, you do what you need to get done, and that, to me, is a successful workout. One topic I do wanna to touch on, y'all, is whenever you're attacking your goals, all right, you've got to stay laser focused. And I know that kind of says, you know, sounds cliche, but I, I wanna talk about it more in a general aspect of whenever you're getting started, you may have a, like a lot of like people rooting for you. Everybody's your friend, right? Like your parents are rooting for you, your brothers, your sisters, whatever. And then it's whenever you start getting committed is whenever you start getting like, oh, like why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep doing that? Well. Your answer should be because I'm obsessed and I want it, you know what I mean? So to anybody who's starting their fitness journey or any new journey at all, you need to remember that it is your journey. Uh, there will be people who absolutely support you and love you and there will be people who will just kind of like, kind of call you crazy a little bit or kind of make fun of you or, or try to make you seem like what you're doing is weird, but bro, what you're doing is not weird. What you're doing is what you're meant to do. What you're doing is what you want to achieve. The summary of this entire topic is whenever you're getting started, head straight, laser focused. And then whenever you're deep into your journey, you need to remember that on the days where, you like like I said, there's people that are being weird towards you or you know, everybody's like, why do you keep doing that? Just. I'm, I'm doing this to get better. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because I want this. I'm obsessed. That should be your answer every time, okay? And don't let people put you down, bro. I'm serious. Don't let people put you down. It may even sometimes, bro, it may be your brothers and your sisters. Like your, your homies, your D1s that, that can get weird about what you're doing. Um, but that's whenever you're like, yo, like this is for me. You know, I'm doing this for me and, or I'm doing this for my, like, everybody has a reason of why they do what they do. And you just need to remember that, bro. You do, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare stop what you're doing because somebody thinks it's weird. I don't like cussing, but bro, freak them. You know, freak that, freak that whole situation. You keep going because you know it's the right thing to do. And when it pays off, Oh boy, will it, will it pay off, you know what I'm saying? So, always stay laser focused on, bro. Don't let anybody de-escalate you. Don't, let, don't you dare let anyone de-escalate you from your goals, from your ambitions, from your dreams. Don't let them do that, bro. Do not let them do that, because that's whenever it's like, all right, am I really about this? And the answer should be 100% yes, bro. It should always be yes. So whenever starting your goals, remember, it's a long road and a road that you can succeed on as long as you stay consistent. Because guess what? At the finish line, baby, you on top. You know, at the finish line, you did it. Uh, with all the positivity, all the negativity, you did it. And now you're on top, just, you know, flourishing in your hard work. So um, obviously, alhamdulillah for everything. So you need to just, like, just bro, just focus, focus, especially when you're getting started in the middle of it. And then I always like to say in your journey, you're making a new journey. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause you want to branch out. And so, um, 
no matter what it is you're trying to achieve, don't let anybody just escalate you, bro. You gotta just keep on going. Keep on going till you're happy, till you're satisfied, until you're proud. And then when I, once you achieve that, on to the next journey, baby. However, though, we are now at the gym and we're about to get started with this step-by-step -step, mic'd up leg day, baby. I'm super, super excited because there are some workouts that can be overcomplicated and I completely understand the part where it can be kind of you know anxious a little bit like just trying exercises because you like you want to know how to do them perfectly so that's what we're doing today i'm going to show you the best exercises the be basically a leg day 101 the best exercises to really grow your legs how to get the most out of a leg day and so what we're aiming for guys is literally literally five to six exercises we're going to be doing three quad and three ham and then with my calves i like to mix them in like after my sets we'll just do boom 50 calves raises and that's how I mix it in with that so let's go ahead and get rocking and rolling the choice is yours chicken legs or thick legs which one let's go ahead and get started for exercise number one we're gonna start out with focusing on the quads we've got leg extensions I always like to do a warm-up set and the first few exercises of my workout I like to do warm-up sets for the first two or three exercises to make sure you know, we're far from getting injured, right? Because the, the muscles are warmed up, they feel good, and they're ready to attack the workout, right? So, for exercise number one, we've got leg extensions at three sets of 10 to 15 reps, okay? So let's go ahead and get it started, baby. So, what I like to do is, I'd say, on, so let me hook you up. What I like to do for the first, like, eight to 10 reps is a good squeeze, and then after that good squeeze, the last five, bust them out go really really hard on it to really exaggerate that quad muscle okay so let's get it so right here we're going boom really really good squeeze right there okay even hold on to the things if you have to I'd say squeeze them up there just like that toes pointed up to the roof by the way it's extremely important where your toes are pointed just like that just like that boom five nice Really focus on the exaggeration of the squeeze. Mm, nice. We're growing these babies. That's the goal, to grow. Up, oh, up, oh, nice. And once we're about at that eight or 10 mark, I'd like to say, we're gonna bust out five. Mm, oof, 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 boom. Woo. That right there is a successful set. This is only three sets in, and the quads are already pumping up. Even after the first three sets on the leg day, you should feel like you've done a lot of work because of how hard you're pushing it. So I always recommend to give some reps on the sets, good squeezes, and then go into fast motion. Or you can attack it with all squeeze or all fast motion. I find the mixing it in works the best for me. On exercise number two, I always like going back and forth with my exercises. So for example, leg day, it's hams, quads, glutes, calves. I like to do quads, hams, quads, hams. You know, back and forth, just so it's like spread out evenly. And for me, I really, really feel like I get the most out of it when I'm doing it that way. But doing all quads first and then all hammies or the other way around also works fantastically too. It just really depends on what you're feeling and how you want to do it. But for exercise number two, we've got seated leg curls. Now there's a bunch of variation of leg curls. There's seated, lying down. There's even lying down with dumbbell leg curls. There's a bunch of awesome ones. For hamstring exercise number one, we've got seated leg curls at again, three sets of 10 to 15 reps. And I like to do the squeeze variation on this one too. So let's go. The reason I like the squeeze variation so much is because I really, really think time under tension for your, for your muscles helps it out a lot because think about it, right? Let's say we do three sets, right, of 10 reps, but you're just like, you're just pushing it because you're strong enough. But what if you gave it a really, really good squeeze? You will feel so much more out of the exercise. And so many scientist-based experiments say that when you really push the muscle and give it a good squeeze, you really get way, way more out of the exercise. So just like leg extensions, once we hit about like eight to 10, I'd say, we want to basically just start busting it out. 
literally. There we go. Perfect repetition right there, mate. Really feel the hamstring working and growing, baby. Let's go. And so, once you get that in, again, three sets of 10 to 15. Whenever I said I like to mix the calf exercises in the workout, what I like to do is right after a certain exercise, I'll do roughly 250 body weight calf raises throughout the workout. So for example, just finished up this set, and just like this, boom, start busting them out, just like that. I aim for roughly 250 throughout the entire workout. So if you wanna do 50 after one set, 50 after another, it'll add up to 250. But just like that, I'm telling you, you can either do this, or you can do machine calf raises, which also works amazing. It's just really your preference, and this is what I, I love doing, because it's right after the exercise, so continuous intensity. Continuous intensity throughout the entire workout. Perfect, baby. Now, whenever we're doing our exercises, especially the leg extensions and leg raises, we always wanna aim for from, from, F-R-O-M, full range of motion, okay? Because we're here to exercise and get better, right? So what I mean by full range of motion is, for example, on this exercise, we're going all the way up, and then we're gonna come right down to a 90 to 80 degree angle. As you can see, it's, there's a lot of tension right here, okay? You don't wanna, right here, this is, that's not from, that's not full range of motion. Right there, you wanna get the most out of it. And by getting your full range of motion on every exercise, we're really getting the most out of everything. Again, we're here to exercise and become better, so don't cut yourself short in that. On to quad exercise number two, and we've got a press movement, more specifically leg press. I know this one might look a wee bit different. There's a bunch of different variations of leg press, like for example, like that one is one of them, you know? There's another one where it's a bit higher up, but I really, really like this one specifically. So a great thing about the press movements is that's what you need to do when we're talking about adding girth, adding size, adding width into the legs. It's all in the press movements. So when we're doing these, okay, when we're doing leg press, I really want you guys to focus on the way you're pressing, okay? So the way your feet are pointed really matters. So when we're pointed out, we're more focused on the quad on the inside. When we're pointed in, we're focused more on the outside. But when we're pointed straight up, it gets the entire quad is what we want, okay? So, boom, we're where we need to be. Now, when we're pressing, guys, I don't want you to straighten out your legs. That's so, so rough on the knees. Trust me, your knees will thank you later, okay? So when we're pressing, we wanna to come to about an obtuse angle in the legs, just like that. Not straight, we wanna to come into an obtuse angle, and then we're right back up. And we don't wanna bring our knees to our face, okay? We want to stop right about the 90, or even, I'd say, we I'd say you stop right at the 90 and then push back into that obtuse angle to one, protect your knees and get the most out of the exercise. Because once we start coming back too much, we're using our lower back and this is a quad ham, this is an entire leg exercise. So let's focus directly on pushing the legs, okay? So boom, we're here, this is where we're gonna start. We're gonna go just like that, obtuse angle. Boom, one, nice. Just like that, number two and number three, perfect. On these, I'd say we go four sets of eight to 12 reps. If you really, really wanna push it, I'd say 15, but if we're going heavy, four sets of eight to 12 reps, good repetitions the whole time. No bad reps, no bad reps, only quality reps, baby. So boom, let's come up, I'd say, let's do 400. Let's go about here, let's go a little heavy for this one. All right, so we got it. This right here is one of the heavier exercises, the one where I like to exaggerate how much weight we're doing. Boom, toes are where they need to be, okay? And then we're gonna push, just like that obtuse angle, and then we're back. That's all right, boom. Just like that. It should flow, it should really, really flow whenever you're getting it done. If you're feeling too much pressure on the knees, I suggest lowering the weight or getting some knee, some knee wraps. Uh, I actually need to get some, but some knee wraps are really, really good for your knees, especially if you're going heavy. <laughs> Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. And whenever I said go to 15, that's when you're really pushing it, mate. You're really eating it. Ugh, 
Nice. Perfect, perfect. Yo, let me show you. Let me show you the leg pump right now, bro. This is the leg pump. Literally only three exercises in. Alhamdulillah, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. And we're just getting started, mate. One important thing to always remember when doing any exercise is form over everything, okay? Speaking from experience, I know it can be tempting to just go really, really heavy to see what you can do. But shoot, bro, do it. Like, if you know you can do it, absolutely do it. But if form is at risk, okay? Injury is no joke, y'all. Injury is really, really no joke. So always try to keep your best form. So, for example, for leg day, if that's getting some knee sleeves or for um, chest day, that's getting some elbow sleeves, whatever it may be. Whatever keeps your form in check, get it. And I promise you will win whenever it comes in, whenever it gets down to the long run. On to hamstring exercise number two, we've got standing single legged leg curls. This is a great hamstring isolator. And honestly, bro, there's a million ways to grow your hamstrings, but if we're talking about isolating them, and if we're talking about pushing them specifically by themselves, we're gonna do standing single legged leg curls, okay? So if your machine, if your gym has this, that's amazing. Take full advantage of it. If not, you can go onto the leg extension machine and instead of sitting down, we're gonna stand and face the chair and curl up the legs that way. But for this machine specifically, which is gonna come right here, we're gonna go four sets of 10 to 15 reps, not too heavy in weight because we're really focused on the contraction. So boom, just like that, up and squeeze, okay? Again, remember from full range of motion, we're not doing none of this. That doesn't help us, okay? So we wanna go boom, just like that. 10 to 15 reps and then we're gonna do it again on the other leg. For me, this has been a humongous hamstring elevator and what I mean by that is it's grown my hamstrings a lot. Uh, and because whenever we're doing them together in one big exercise, like a squat or a press, it works good. But if we really want to single out the hamstring and push it to its utmost potential, I suggest uh, doing specifically hamstring exercises like this. Perfect. Just like that, Mike. Just like that. Beautiful. Now we want to do that. Again, four sets, 10 to 15 reps. Great range of motion. This is exactly how you do it with the extension machine, okay? So we're gonna come on here, we're gonna face the chair, all right? And then when we're facing it, we're gonna bring this all the way down just like that. And then we're gonna kind of bend over and just curl it, just like that. You get the same exact feel, just a different variation. So if your gym doesn't have that certain machine, do it that way. On to the final quad exercise of this workout. So wherever, whenever we're picking this exercise, um, it's really up to you what you wanna do. So I do three different variations. We have right here, hack squat. You can do hack squat, you can do goblet dumbbell squats, or you can even do squat. I prefer to do either the hack squat or dumbbell goblet squat, but it's completely up to you, okay? So whenever we're doing these hack squats, okay? It's very, very similar to the leg press because Whenever we're coming up, we're like this, all right? We're, we're starting in an obtuse angle with our legs. And then, so whenever we're coming down, we wanna stop right at 90, okay? Because if we go too low, that's way too much pressure on our knees that we don't want, all right? So stop roughly right around 90 and then up. And when we're coming up, y'all, do not straighten out. Okay? Never straighten out the legs. We wanna keep it at an obtuse angle to keep the knees healthy, okay? So for example rep, down, 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 90 degrees, boom, just like that. Just like the only time we're fully pushing up or even close to getting locked is when we're putting up the weight. But even now, watch, I'm in an optic single. I put down the weight, we're good, okay? So that's how we're gonna perform these hack squat reps. And when we're doing them, we wanna aim for four sets of again, eight to 12 reps, because this is one of the exercises that really, really push you to your utmost limits and you know, create new limits. We're going three plates on each side, which is fairly heavy or very heavy, especially since we're aiming for 12. All right, and good repetitions on these as always. Remember where our feet are pointed really matters, right here. We're gonna, just like that, boom, all right. 
these are one of the exercises that, again, talk about adding width to the legs. This is what we're doing, baby. Let's go. Eight to 12, good repetition. Full from, remember guys, from. Full range of motion here, no BS. 90 degrees up into an 180, 100, 200 degree angle. Ooh, nice. Pushing, baby, pushing. Now for hamstring exercise number three, AKA the last hamstring exercise of the workout. We are going to do Bulgarian dumbbell split squats. This is another excellent hamstring exercise. So you can either do that or you can do RDLs, AKA stiff legged deadlift. Those are another great hamstring exercise. So the way I want to do these is I want to kind of not, not go too far. We don't want to go too far from the seat, but one right here and then one right on it. And then we're gonna come to 90 degrees in this leg and then push right back up just like that. Boom, we're gonna aim for three to four sets, eight to 12 reps each leg. The sets and reps is completely up to you on this one. It's up to how much you're pushing it, baby. And you know we're going for gold. Let's go. So, boom, grab our weights. And even on these, you don't have to go too heavy. Scoot out just a little bit. Boom, just like that. Don't strain out the leg until it's time to put up the weight. Even then, we want to finish in an obtuse angle. <sighs> nice, just like that, just like that, Mike. Cherry on top of the workout, bro. No weekdays, baby, no weekdays. Let's go. That right there is an insane leg day. Wow, 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 alhamdulillah. That workout was absolutely fantastic, a -doosical. See, honestly, bro, what I genuinely love about working out is like, it's all up to you and how hard you want to push yourself. You know what I mean? Like, like it's so easy to just be take it easy, which is fine, right? If you want to take it easy, that's fine, right? But the level of intensity you train out is completely and utter up to you, you know? So if we go in there day in and day out and decide to go intense and hard every single at workout, Dude, you have no choice but to be pumped and proud of yourself because you keep pushing yourself to the utmost limit and again, creating new limits. Um, so my whole point of that is that leg day was absolutely insane. Like, like pushing the limit. We definitely went up, I went up more in weight in this workout just obviously like to see where the numbers are and the numbers are moving. Obviously, uh, your numbers will always be better when you're completely hydrated, when you're completely full of carbs, when you're completely eating healthy food. So the numbers are lovely right now. However, though, it's just in, it's insane that you are the one in your workouts to decide. All right, I'm gonna take it easy today, or I'm going to absolutely push it today and grow. It's it's your decision on which side you want to work out on, but you know where it is. You know which side we're working out on. Intense. However, though, that was the leg day. It was freaking awesome. Your boy works out fasted, and what that means is um, I usually don't eat before my workouts because I train early a.m., I train in the morning, or even in the workouts that I, even if I'm working on in the afternoon, I usually train fasted uh, because that's just how I like to train, you know what I mean? So this workout was done fasted, and it was done perfectly. After a workout like that, you literally feel like you want to eat a horse. All right, you, you feel like you want to eat a horse or a cow. You know the saying, you're hungry. So, or be fast, because like I said, I work out fasted mainly most of the time. We've got uh, two full reset potatoes and then, or white potato, and then we've got five, we've got six boiled eggs. I kept the egg yolk on three of the egg yolks and saved the other ones for later. That is what we're having for breakfast. And I cooked this in olive oil because olive oil is freaking delicious and it's very, very good for you. So that is what we're having for breakfast. Uh, mind you, whenever you're in your fitness journey and things like that, what you eat really, really does determine if you're gonna hit your fitness goals because I always like to say 90% diet, 10% working out. What you eat is extremely, extremely important. And not just for the fitness goals, bro, for your, your activity in the gym or your activity in your daily regimen. Uh, what you eat definitely controls your energy levels, how you feel, and lots of things, right? So if you wanna feel the best, try and eat to the best of your ability, AKA eat as healthy as possible. I'm not saying broccoli, eggs, cheese, no bro. Find ways to have healthier versions of your food, and I promise you, your fitness journey will 
you'll run through it, bro. You know what I'm saying? However, though, that is what we are having for breakfast. And let's chomp this down. Delicious, alhamdulillah. And why, bro, when I say, when I say that workout was legit, I think we still got a pump going on. Move, chair. Still got some a pump going on, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know the workout was. Legit. However, though, ladies and gentlemen, that was the step-by-step -step leg day routine to big, thicker legs. I really, really do hope you try it and that you took something away from that workout routine. Uh, because like I said, there's so many variations of a successful leg day. It's just really what really works for you. And for me, that's what works the most. Again, the exercises went leg extensions, seated leg curls, leg press, standing single legged curls, hack squat, seated hack squat. And then we finished off with some Bulgarian split squats and the workout was absolutely amazing. With that though, we did our calf raises in between the exercises, roughly 250 calf raises. Now for the glutes part of it, if you really, really wanna grow those glutes, some of the greatest exercises you can do to really pump up the booty is number one, we've got donkey kicks, specifically on a machine that really, really isolates the glutes, which can really, which can really help them grow. Uh, the Bulgarian split squats is a great one. Stiff-legged deadlift or RDLs are fantastic to really, really grow them. Clamshells and weighted hip thrusts, more specifically like, you know, the machine or, or you can do it with a dumbbell. It's completely up to you. And another great one is squats. Squats are another great glute grower, but those are the top exercises for really growing glutes. So if you wanna throw that in your workout routine, or if you wanna have a specific ham and glute workout once a week, uh, that would also work really, really good. But that right there was the step-by-step -step leg day routine. I really, really do hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're old here, give me a thumbs up. You know, I very much appreciate it always. Quote of the video, ladies and gentlemen. And that is progress over perfection. Like really listen to this, progress over perfection. Sometimes when we try to do things, we think we need all the perfect stuff for, or we think this has to be perfect or else I'm gonna be, I'm gonna feel weird about doing it, no. All right, start with what you've got and where you're at and go from there and I promise you, the sky is the limit. You're gonna shoot from there. Focus on progress, progress, progress. And then before you know it, you're way farther than where you started. So that is the quote of the video, progress over perfection. See you guys in the next video.